Hello and welcome. I'm um, back down here at Hasita Head doing some more research and um, I wanted to show you something real quick before I get started before I head over there to show you what's going on. I got my uh, <laughs> my human anatomy book here. I brought with you to show you what I'm kind of thinking. I'm not married to the idea but what might be going on what we're what I'm seeing. Uh, I've been looking for a pattern and um, if, I, if you look at this right here you'll see the membranous wall here of the trachea and it runs down even into the branches and some of this stuff in here I'll show you in the cave entrances and on the walls what we might be seeing possibly I could be totally wrong on this but it might be and then you got these uh, tracheal cartilages uh, that might be the blocking that I'm seeing on the entrance walls the cross section uh, that might be what I'm seeing around the ring of the the entrance of, uh, of that so I'm gonna go out there and show you what I think I might be seeing but I think it's down inside of here. And I think the reason a lot of it's not there no more is because this cartilage is gonna be left behind. And the further down you get into this, it's gonna be more eroded. So that's why I'm seeing a lot of it gone. That's just, that's just my opinion, I, uh, my theory I have. I'm not married to it, so I'm just passing that by today. So anyway, I'm gonna get started, thank you. Okay, I'm here at the entrance to this, uh, to this one that I was talking about showing you in the book. Now see it right along the edge of it here? like right in there and right in there and right in there how blocky it is and the places up in there uh, that's what I was looking at that cartilage on uh, the outside edge and then inside there you can actually see it from out here I'll zoom in and that would be that membrane possibly along the lining see that membrane there now that also could be uh, uh, things carboxylating and transitioning uh, because this would be in the lung area and so uh, that's one of the things I'm thinking on that theory also. And uh, I'll show you one of my, I think the last video where uh, there was some blockiness on the entrance to one of these and I was able to point out the difference in the two materials. So I'll go up closer to that and show you some of that stuff that's along the lining that I see and I get a closer look at that. But you can get a close look at that and you can see how big it is. It's a really big opening. Now, I've, I've ran, there's 21 of these caves so far I found, 13 here, and there's a whole bunch more on around over there that you can see from the highway, and a whole bunch I can't see. So 21 of them so far, and uh, I'm going to stop looking, but uh, this is the, where I wanted to show you some of this stuff going on in there, so I'm going to take the camera down and go in there now and show you. Okay, it's really windy. I don't know if you can hear me or not that well, but this one, this piece, whole piece here is about all ready, almost ready to come off. You see that seam right there. I don't like standing that one there too. Look at that, come right off. But here's that stuff on the lining I was talking about. I gotta get down here almost on my back for you to see it. Just a sec here. Uh, turn the camera. Well, this could just be uh, things uh, transitioning. But you see the difference in this compared to this here? Now I don't know if this is a, a, a membrane, possibly a, a, of some kind, or if it's just that carboxylation going on. Which I think, I'm not sure, because look how that's embedded inside of this. But anyway, you can see it all along here. And I'm just inside the lip of this. As we get inside, we start finding all this, even down in here. See that? See all that stuff? That stuff, all that stuff in here? And now I don't know if it's just transitioning during a breath, you know, because you got a positive and a negative force inside the lung when you do that. I don't know. But you see it back there on the back wall? See that back in there? Now I believe this just pinched off. Um, I could be, look at that up in there. See that? And I can almost stand in here in the middle. But look at this, look at this material here. Now I just noticed something. Look at this huge chunk I'm standing on. If you take a look at this cave entrance, this piece is setting in the ground, in, down in here. I can stand on it, so this would have been on this side of that when it closed off. This is one huge solid piece. It's not, it's not from a ro erosion or nothing. It, it, got, it got stuck here like it is right now, I believe. 
what I'm standing on? It's a totally different material than what's over here. This is a chunk of something that was in the center of this bronchial or artery or whatever it might be. And you see back there, here might be that slap, arterial slap, or I'm not sure what's going on there. You see that circle you got right there? And you got this outer circle? Something's going on there and I'm not totally sure what. Um, now that I look at it more, but look at this, see this material here? See how rough this is? And look how smooth this is. See this? Really smooth in here, look at this. Smooth. I mean rough, but not like, I think I just broke my glasses. <laughs> oh, but look at this, let's see if I can get down here. And there's a smoother piece, there's pieces in there, see that? And look at this up here, it doesn't... Okay, so that's the biology I see in this right now at this point. And these big old chunks that stuck in here too. Looks like they broke apart or something maybe, but... really see the difference here. Big old chunks in there. Look at this, how smooth this is over here. Doesn't have nearly the stuff like that does. You get over there, you know. Okay, I'm gonna go try to look at another entrance. But that's what I see for the biology going on here. And you, of course you got all this, uh, which I believe would be a carboxylation process or things transitioning. I'm not positive, but anyway, that's just my theory, okay? Um, I'm gonna go over and look at something else here. Boy, that's just something else. Look at that, how it's just... And down here, see this green moss feeding on it? Look at this, see this feeding down here? Notice it's only feeding there. Right down this crack. All right. Got another spot feeding right there. All right, I'm gonna look at something else. Okay, now if I just step over here to the next cave right beside it, uh, I'm sure a lot of it's eroded away, but it's also different on entrance on the inside once you get into it. Totally different material and everything. So some of these could have been bronchial tubes or whatever they might have been. Others one would have been arteries, or yeah, arteries probably. And so, uh, you know, we'd be walking in the main arteries because they wouldn't all be those tubes because there's a lot of arterial action going on also. But just look at this in here, look at the biology in this. Let me just get this camera set up here real quick. Yeah, I got the sun in here too. It's really messing things up. Just to hold on here. Okay, you got the bio, I had to take the camera off the tripod. You got the biology coming in here. Look out and you got a totally different type change once you get in here. Well, that sun's really throwing a... I don't know if you can see this. And then you got the stuff right over my head, which is just amazing. Look at this. Ah. Oh. Look at, all the, look at the biology and the blockiness in there. And you come on down, and then you start getting into that. Look at that in there. And it runs right in there like that. I'm gonna tip over backwards. Whoa, okay. But look at the material on that side and the material on that side. Two different, two different types of material. I've had this in one of my other videos too, I believe. Look at that material in there and then it gets into this. 
And then over here is totally different. That's brown down in there, reddish. You got this seam here. And then you got, this is like that stuff in the other cave kind of seam. It's a little rougher though, but then on this side you got this, wow. Like day and night difference. So I don't know what's going on, but that's the difference between this and the other cave. Right there alone, just the inside and the outside. And I'm going to take a look at one more here. All right. First thing you'll notice is all this, all this feeding on this. And notice it's only feeding in certain spots. Notice that? It's not feeding everywhere. And it's, a, you know, it's that lime green. As you'll see, I mean, it's even feeding out of holes down here. Look at this. It's just in certain spots. See that? And it's coming right out of the rock. I mean, it's, it's embedded right in there. I mean, hard, some of it. So I, I don't know how some of it don't go that deep. Some of it goes deeper. But anyway, you get up in here. And there's that seam right over my head. See that double seam that goes clear out? To, oh, wow. I'm going to follow it backwards. <laughs> Hold on. There's that seam that runs, it's a double seam that runs all the way down clear back into there see that and look at the wall of this side it's the same as the other side see that not like the other cave walls I just came from where the two sides were different see this going on here now I don't know if that's carboxylation going on the process going on or transitioning I'm not sure I'm not going to get my light out, but yeah, I don't, I, it's pretty big up there. I can walk up in there, no problem. Like there's got holes going up there. There's a hole going up there, a hole going back up in there, a hole going back up that way. One, two, three more holes going up that way, and then one hole going down the ground that way. So I don't know what's going on here, but it's pretty good stuff, I'd say. I'll try to get it up in there a little bit. No. I, I can't see. Uh, you can see the openings going up and they go straight up in there too you can they keep going so all right 